And voters making decisions on more than candidates yesterday. Several important propositions also on the ballot. In total, New Yorkers had to answer three questions when they made their way to the polls. For more on the outcome, let's send it out to News 10 ABC's Jennifer Lee, who's live at the Capitol building in Albany this morning. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Nicole and Christina. New Yorkers who went out to cast their vote last night also had to vote on three propositions. Now, those three propositions were all approved. More than 50% of voters voted yes on Proposition 1, which deals with creating a committee to redraw district lines. Now, this means the committee will have to have the responsibility to redraw lines on state legislative and congressional districts every 10 years. Now, according to the New York State Board of Elections, each decade beginning in 2020, a 10 member redistricting committee will be established. That group would then have to submit a plan for the new districts to the legislature in the next redistricting cycle. The redistricting plan would also have to be approved by the governor. Now, before New Yorkers approve this proposition, the legislature was entirely responsible for establishing these lines. Now, advocates of Proposition 1 say that the new rule will now make it difficult to improperly favor incumbents. Now coming up in the next half hour, we're going to take a look at Proposition 2, which New Yorkers approved to have the legislature to go paperless. We'll have much more on that coming up for now reporting live outside the state capitol. Jennifer Lee for News 10 ABC. Thank you.